This is just one more example of a, another back and body type. This is Pokey, and for as little as she is, she's kind of foundation type, she's been a cutter. Again, she has a very big shoulder for her size. And so this is her total shoulder angle here. The back side of her shoulder comes all the way to here. And when you look at that, it comes all the way into the girthing area. A lot of people have an idea that they want to keep uh, the saddle tree as far back behind the shoulder blades as possible. But when you have a mare that's as functionally short-backed as she is, it makes it nearly impossible to keep the tree from having any kind of impact on the horse's shoulder blade. Um, she has some orange hair right here, and it's in a circular place here, and then there's another circular place here, so they take on this total shape, and that is the very top of her shoulder blade. You can see when I push in those places that she has some tension there, and my guess is, and her head comes up, that the saddle tree has been bridging on her shoulder blade and I'm going to push here and back to here. You can see her back drop when I do that. I'm going to press on these two places again. I'll fluff her back up. This is the back the mare could have, even at age 18. And when the saddle hits these two places, she really drops. That's way too much tension, and this mare isn't ridden often, but the cumulative effects of saddle pressure here, where the shoulder blade tries to move back and forth under this place, makes an elongated wrinkle that creates this mare pain and wants to make her fidgety. So imagine this. Say you're saddled up 20 minutes, and the mare's been good, and she starts to fidget. Watch what she does when I push on these places. She is giving me every indication right here that she wants to be away from that pain. So listen to your horse. Those places hurt. The number one thing to do is fix your saddle fit, and then help heal your horse. These places won't go away on their own. They require some professional help, stretching, back lifts, possibly the help of your veterinarian, a chiropractor, or another therapist to relieve the spasms that have been long standing in these areas of the back. This is a four-year-old buckskin mare that uh, lives here at Donna's place, and she has a very characteristic circular white patch on the top of her shoulder blade. You may see these anywhere from here, and she actually has another one back here. So I'm going to highlight those for you. And another one here. And most people consider those spots as pressure points. They are a form of pressure, but we have pressure and friction. So this mare, her withers sit really tall, even though they're not real slim. The top of her shoulder blade is here, and the back side of her shoulder blade goes all the way like this. I'm going to mark the very back of her shoulder range of motion. She's like her, maybe not. So as we bring this mare's leg forward, the back side of her shoulder blade comes all the way to here. These spots occur from saddles being placed too far forward, and as the shoulder goes through its range of motion, the hair rolls and pinches with the hide to give us those circular pinch marks from too much pressure.